So, you want to do a little bit of animation? Hey guys, boy, my test by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back. And I love, I love this program because it's so versatile, and the animation features are absolutely amazing. I've done countless animations. Um, up here at the top right hand corner, you can see we have this little box. If I click that box, it'll drop down the workspaces and animation will be right there. So we just choose animation. You can see this timeline will pop up down here. We'll turn this uh, little this little light bulb on. If you can see, if I draw a couple lines, then I move the frame six to, to keyframe six, delete all that, and then draw again. You can see we have the onion skinning now working. We can we can modify the onion skinning by hitting this little button right here. Right, so this this will be good. We'll do like a thumbs up. That'll be good. That'll be cool. All right, so we'll start in the zero frame. We'll go to uh, three. And right now, I'm not worried about timing. We're just going to get the, all these down. I'm worried about it a little bit, but not too much. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a duplicate frame, right? So there's nothing on that. It's hollow. I don't usually like to draw uh, and then go backwards and fill in the frames. But I think we'll do something like that today. All right, so just something like that. Just something simple, sketchy. So I'm going to drag this to, say, frame 30. Now, on frame three, we, we, need, to, we need to figure out how to get from... Uh, from nothing to this. Now we can go ahead and in the middle we can uh, do this a little differently. We can grab this frame, right click the frame next to it, and it create duplicate frame to duplicate that. And then we'll just move that somewhere in the middle, right about frame, frame 15. Now we can use this uh, little tool right here, tool right here rather. We'll grab this, and this is how we can resize and scale around in our our uh, our, uh, our layer. But instead of resizing it, I want to go ahead and just rotate it a little bit. We'll rotate it. We'll drop it down here, right? So we have that arm kind of going like that. Now I want to take this a bit further, and we'll go to our lasso tool right here. We'll grab our lasso tool, and we'll cut this at the wrist, because I want our wrist to bend a little bit. So we'll grab, we'll select all that, move it down, and that looks good. All right. So uh, then we'll just fix up that uh, that gap right there. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not gonna we're not line arting right now. We're just uh, sketching out the animation. And you got to remember, animation is super quick. So all these frames um, that we're doing here, they're not gonna be. They don't have to be perfect. You know, we're in the middle of both of these, we want to go in the middle of the red and the green, which is kind of gonna indicate where our hand is gonna lay in the next frame. Want to keep the dimensions pretty much the same here. I don't want his arm to get thicker or less thick. You can see we have a very, very rough animation. You see it's not very not very smooth, doesn't have a lot of quality to it. In between, right here on uh, frame, what is this, uh, 19, 11, uh, on frame 11, I kind of want to go ahead and in between these as well. Since I want this to look like it's going super fast, I don't want to just draw in a regular thumb like this. I kind of want to do like a little bit of whooshing line, so we'll go ahead and just uh, drag those down like that, give the illusion of uh, motion which looks good. Go ahead and do that. We'll go backwards. Now this is still kind of slow, so we'll go ahead and we will uh, fix up these uh, keyframes here now. So we'll go ahead, pull that one maybe uh, around there. Some of these we're going to have to put right up next to each other, and some of these we won't need at all. So I don't need this, this frame right here at all. We can get rid of that one. Delete it. We don't need it. It's, uh, like, it's a fluff frame. We don't even need that. Um, and we'll move these over. I kind of want his arm to kind of pop up a little bit and then the thumb to pop out really quick. Super rough right now, you can see. Let's go ahead and get rid of this uh, armor here because it's too different than the others here. So we'll go ahead and just get rid of that because we don't even need it. We don't even need that one. Now we look for places where we can uh, fix this up really quickly. So uh, right around here, I think I can do a little bit of an in-between here and bridge these together a bit better. So we'll go ahead and delete that in between uh, three and five here. So on frame four, go ahead um, and we'll just kind of gap these together. I kind of want it to be a little bit more down here though still. All right, so you can see we have this hand here, which once again, neon kind of pops up like that. I don't want this frame right here. I kind of just want it to pop up. And then when it pops up, we'll have a nice kick back to that so instead of his arm just stopping right there we'll go ahead and we'll erase his thumb and we'll kind of move it backwards a little bit and then we'll grab this guy right here we'll copy this uh, copy the clipboard 12 and then we'll put that on 15 and we'll paste it so now, 
his his uh his thumb kind of does this uh, little jiggle back thing but it moves all together which is not what i want so we'll go ahead and on this frame we will cut his uh, thumb in half here by using the lasso tool we'll cut that right there we'll rotate it move it backwards so it looks like his thumb's kind of uh moving in segments which is i mean obviously because you got joints and stuff and now it's snapping back too quick so we'll go ahead and uh, pull that frame right there take a look at it all right so I think we need to spread these out right here a little bit I want to get a little bit more uh, physics on this uh, piece right here as well so when his arm kind of pulls up like that I want his let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this uh, right click create duplicate frame right there so right here on frame six I want to grab his uh, wrist once more and we'll rotate it downwards like that and when now we play this you can see uh, it looks a bit better now on frame nine I want to do the same thing but in the opposite direction we'll grab his wrist we'll rotate it pull it up a little bit and then of course we'll have to fix his wrist right here as well alright so if we scrub through this now when his thumb pops out I want to do the same thing so we will go ahead and grab his wrist uh, on the frame after his thumb initially pops out rotate it just a bit now in this frame we're gonna have to put it uh, somewhere around there as well so it comes back down so it doesn't look strange it just pops around select all that move it up a little bit Make it a little bit in between those red and green alright so this is a super rough animation right now but you can see how we can do some pretty nice things with this um, which is pretty sweet so let's go ahead and play this um, so that looks pretty good we'll go ahead and I think this this jerks a little bit too much right here so we'll go ahead and on this frame we can turn onion skinning on and fix that it's a bit too much of a jerk right there so we'll rotate that move it up a little bit to match all right and then right here we gotta go to a frame about 20 maybe uh-huh and one more thing I kinda wanna settle his arm on frame 19 back down to a more relaxed kinda state so we'll grab his wrist rotate it down just a wee bit his thumb as well something like that and then his entire arm will select it rotate it and we'll try and keep this pivot point the same down here because his arm is rotating from his elbow so it wouldn't like you know look like this his arm wouldn't go up like that so we needed to rotate it down a little bit and try and make sure we have that edge pretty much still with that edge where that elbow would bend alright so that's gonna be it um, super quick and super easy uh, rough animation today we can add as many uh, more frames as we'd like and of course uh, we'd get all of those um, all of that to make it more smooth and stuff like that we can bump the frame rate up like I said to make it more smooth you can even go all the way up to 60 really um, but yeah it looks pretty good right there we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna call it quits for today's animation store we'll be back with some more animation because I love animation it's super cool um, and it's so much fun to do and watch it come together so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it but until then bye bye